Hey, guys, what it be this? What it be this, guys? Ha, huh, I suffered. See my highball. I be like Uncle Ruckus. Hi, I'm Uncle Ruckus. And I'm a white man. Can somebody please look at that video and tell me what that was? What was that? What was the reason? Why the hell did that happen to me? Okay, story time of how I got Apollo. And if you're not Nigerian, Apollo simply means conjunctivitis. It's an eye inflammation where your eyes get red and extremely swollen. And it occurs due to a lot of reasons. It could be allergies, it could be bacteria, you know, anything. Your eye could just literally decide that. I don't want to, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see. And that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. So one fine Friday afternoon, like two weeks ago, I was like, oh, let me go and see my sister because I haven't seen my sister in a while. And I was like, oh, like if you're running errands or you're going to the office or anything, like I freed up like my whole Friday for you so we can do whatever. And my sister was like, oh, she'll be doing a bunch of things. She might pop out at the hospital. And I was like, yes, let's do that. Mistake. Big mistake. Okay, now we'll go to the hospital. And everything was fine, you know, like it was just routine checks, normal, normal stuff now. And then all of a sudden, I felt like an eyelash was in my eye. You know that feeling when like an eyelash drops into your eye. So I was like, ah, should I tell my sister to blow it out? I was like, I'm afraid that that can even be worse. So I was like, okay, no problem. When we get back inside the car, I will open my eye and then see if there's something there, and then I'll probably like rinse my eye out or like you know try to take it out somehow. And this thing kept like irritating me and disturbing me. My brethren in Christ, I checked the eye. I did not see anything in my eye. When I now got home, I realized that my eyelids felt very, like, swollen. So I just assumed, okay, I would be getting, like, a boil in my eye. And, you know, growing up with a lot of allergies, um, having boils in my eye was something that I was fairly used to. So I know what, like, medication I would take to tackle it. So I started off taking my usual um, antibiotics that I would take when I would have like, you know, a boil in my eye. Guy, around like 9 p.m., I could not see again. Like, I could not see, like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I was even on the phone with my best friend and I literally just gave up on seeing because I was like, what, what is going on? So I slept quite early, I think it was around 9, 8, 9 p.m. or so. So I decided like, you know what, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I told my friend I was on the phone with, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go, let me just, let me just go and sleep. Let me just close this eye and, you know, wake up and we'll understand what's really going on when I open the eye. I woke up around midnight and I was so hungry. So I wanted to, like, get food. And then I realized that the eye was completely swollen shut. Uh -huh. Like, I could not open my eye. I climbed out of bed and then I went to the bathroom and I had to, like, peel my eye open. And I promise you, I was traumatized because by that time, there was, like, so much pus around the eye. I was like, wait till be this. Prior to that time, when um, I came back home and I was examining the eye, I had noticed pus, but like I didn't think much of it. You know, I just thought, ah, hmm. I just cleaned it. I was like, okay, maybe I didn't like, you know, wash my face well when I went out or something. Bruh, this time it was different. I could not believe my eye. My eye could not believe my eye. I was like, what is going on here? Okay, so boom, I'm in the kitchen, I'm making food. And um, my friend calls me and I'm telling my friend what's going on. And he's like, let me see the eye, Seth. And then... He sees it and he's like, that is Apollo. And I'm like, eh? He's like, yup, you have Apollo. And I'm like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ah. I was so mad. I was like, why? Because in my head, yeah, growing up, kids who used to have Apollo in my school were always those rough kind of children that were always getting into fights and everything. So I'm like, where could I have possibly gotten Apollo from? How? Why? Like, I had so many questions. See, forget all that one. I said, okay, let me just eat. I ate. I slept. I said, we'll deal with this tomorrow. By the next morning, when I woke up, I could, I like, I could not, I could not open the eye at all. Like the eye was gone. It was so swollen. I ran to the toilet. I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, Jesus, I'm gonna look Christ. What is this? Hey, and the trauma of how I rinsed the eye out last night plus this one that I was about to do. Christ, oh my God! I started dreading every time I had to wash my eye because. After a few hours, the post would gather again. I wanted to go and beg my family members that they should please go to the pharmacy for me because I felt like the antibiotics that I was taking, they weren't working. But I mean, it's just a day, like it's barely even a day. Do I have sense? No. So they went and then they asked the pharmacist and I said, okay, they should call me when they're with the pharmacist. I was talking to the pharmacist and the pharmacist was like, very chill. He wasn't talking to somebody else while talking to me. And I'm like, my guy, I'm going blind. What is, what are you doing? This is an emergency. <laughs> And then he 
gave me one eye drop and then I used the eye drop. So I was supposed to use eye drop three times a day. Hey, Chinikina. When I tell you that waking up uh, to clean my eye and then use my eye drop and come back to bed was just traumatizing for me because I couldn't do anything else. I had to cancel all my shoots, cancel all my appointments, no content. If you notice, there was a time when like I didn't have any content coming out. There was no content coming out because even the things that I had shot, I couldn't open my eye to edit it because the eye was very photosensitive. Do you understand? Hmm. I said, no, 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 no. I was, I was like, ah, let me just calm down. Let me not make it a whole thing. So I was cracking jokes. My friends will call me. I won't be able to take everybody's calls because most of the time I'm sleeping to like, you know, rest the eye. So the eye drops and the medication can actually work. So my friends will call me. And if I can prime my eye, one eye open to pick the call, I pick the call. I learned how to lay very still without moving because they're not born anywhere. Make you sleep on you. can't sleep on your side though. You are going to sleep like this. You can't turn. Bro. Like I could be sleeping in the daytime and you go out, like my cousin will go to work and come back and meet me in the exact same position that she left me because I could not even shift to anywhere. It was that I would always have this very annoying headache. And you know that weekend, some funny things were happening that I know that eh, if I was active, I would have done some things. But wow. <laughs> like my friends would now be like, Oh, I sent you something on Instagram. I'm like, I cannot see it. I cannot see this hot, hot cheese like this. After all, the Bible says that only with thine eyes will thou see the reward of the wicked. How I want to see the reward of the wicked when my eye know the walk. I know get eye. Hey. That shit had me messed up. I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't even know whether I should start kabashing. But for some reason, I just like took the time and I was like, you know what, let me just be still, you know, let me be still. I prayed when I could and I just really laid still. I listened to a lot of podcasts. So I, I had to be walking around the house with shades for like three days. I didn't go anywhere near like people. All my devices had the brightness turned down to the minimum and it was still too bright for me. It was crazy, but I was really lucky because... I had a few of my friends send me messages to encourage me. Some of my family members and my friends also like would come and drop like snacks and stuff for me in the house because like they know that I wouldn't go out. But all in all, it was a very interesting experience. Never again. Now, ah, I would just be standing randomly somewhere and one of my staff would just come and be like, ma, and just hold like a sanitizer and spray it on my hand so that I don't put dirty hand near my eye because what was that? That being said, Apollo was a horrible experience for me. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. It was just a lot because like it really took away my ability to do anything and it also made me you know really think and be super grateful and not waste time immediately. I started feeling that I had to get back into work. So yeah, anyway, if you've ever had Apollo before, put it in the comment section and let's know how your experience was. And if you've not had it, Oh my god, don't ever pray to have it. It's awful. Okay guys, I'll see you again. Don't forget to follow me, like, share, subscribe, whatever platform you are seeing this on. Just follow me. Okay, bye!